Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the ongoing saga of Overwatch 2's PvE mode and the significant cliffhanger that remains unresolved. If you're a fan of Overwatch or just curious about what's next, stick around because this is going to be a deep dive into one of the biggest mysteries in the game right now. So let's get straight into it. One of the major selling points for Overwatch 2 before its release was the promise of extensive PvE content. Many fans were hyped for a full PvE campaign that would expand the lore of the Overwatch universe. But after the game launched, it quickly became clear that the PvE content was a far cry from what was initially promised. Instead of a comprehensive campaign, we got a handful of PvE missions, each spotlighting different characters and intertwining storylines. Now, these missions did cover some extremely important aspects of Overwatch lore. The latest mission in particular ended on a cliffhanger involving Zenyatta and Ramatra and it's left the community craving for answers. But with PvE essentially absent from Overwatch 2 now, will we ever see this story resolved? Let's rewind a bit. Originally, Overwatch 2's PvE content was supposed to include multiple campaigns, each shedding light on different groups of heroes. Fans were looking forward to hero-specific talent trees and a deeper exploration of the Overwatch universe. But what we got were just three major PvE missions, Resistance, Liberation, and Ironclad. And now, any future PvE plans have been cancelled as of March 2024. Despite the underwhelming number of missions, the story they told was quite engaging. The epilogue for the Ironclad mission gave us a tantalizing glimpse into the origins of Ramatra, who used to be a peaceful Omnic monk alongside Zenyatta under the guidance of Master Mondata. However, Ramatra's disillusionment with peaceful pursuits led him to form Null Sector, a militant Omnic liberation group. The cliffhanger we're left with is intense. Master Mondata is assassinated by Widowmaker and Zenyatta is cornered by members of Talon. This moment leaves us with so many questions. Does Ramatra know about Talon's involvement? Did he sanction the killing to provoke a global conflict between Omnics and humans? It would be a huge loss if this critical storyline remains unresolved due to the cancellation of PvE content. But there's hope. Blizzard has several avenues to continue this narrative. They could release standalone cinematics, which have always been a hit with the Overwatch community. These hero animations rack up millions of views and could provide the closure fans need. Alternatively, Blizzard could expand the story through a dedicated comic book series. This would free up resources for more hero animations while giving fans a rich narrative to follow. Either way, the cliffhanger involving Zenyatta and Ramatra is too significant to ignore and Blizzard needs to address it. So what do you think? How should Blizzard continue the story of Zenyatta and Ramatra? Should they release more cinematics or perhaps a comic book series? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this update, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more gaming news and discussions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.